fan boys and fangirls, on today's episode of Technoid, we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, as it seems there is a lot of hype around this device. We have some new updates in terms of the design, as we actually have a one-for-one -one real image of what the foldable display crease looks like. And while it's not a big significant difference, it is a difference no matter what, we'll talk about it, and also storage options have been leaked as well. Also on today's episode, the iPhone 14 lineup is going to get a huge bump in terms of specs, but there may be one downside, and that could be the 14 Pro Max upgrade. All that on today's episode, so stay tuned. So story number one, the main story, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, as you know, I have been on top of this device. I have been talking about it for a while, and a lot of you guys really like when I talk about it. So every time there's an update, I try my best to get it out there, and now this is no exception. According to today's reports, it seems that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 will actually have a smaller crease. Now, I talked about this several episodes ago, how originally it was supposed to be a quote, redesign, but then of course, Samsung kind of decided not to, or they opted not to redesign it right away. However, they did implement a few design changes as we've talked about, and it looks like one of the biggest design changes is the aspect ratio, which is resulting in a smaller crease. According to the reports, Samsung has tweaked the aspect ratio of the display for the Z Fold 4, giving it a 6.5 aspect ratio compared to the 6x2x5 in the current model. It will also be shorter too, in a 23x9 aspect ratio in comparison to 24x5x9. And by doing this, this not only has redesigned the hinge, which is in accommodation to this new design, but it also allows for a more comparison side by side with the traditional crease and the new crease. Now the one on the left is the standard Z Fold 3 and the one on the right is the Z Fold 4. Now, here's the thing. This isn't a real actual image that can give us a full display leak. This was leaked to us by an anonymous source who are probably doing internal testings as we speak because God forbid they could ever actually uphold their NDA agreement. But taking a look at the actual renders and comparing it now to actual images, it does line up. Now, while the crease is still visible, it isn't as pronounced as the current models. And that's a good thing because it does hold up in terms of durability. It holds up in terms of long-term use. And also it does implement that Samsung eventually is going to give us that redesign. Now, the redesign that I had mentioned a while back had explained that yes, it was basically going to be a one piece hinge. However, in this case, since it is not a one piece hinge, it is still working with two connectors opening in and out, that will have to be saved for next time. It seems that the direction that Samsung is going with is just minimal upgrades, but still keeping the core of what works and what doesn't work. And that's actually not a bad thing, as honestly speaking from my own personal experience after seeing people that use the Fold series, this, I mean, it works. If, if it's not broken, just don't fix it. I mean. That's the best way I can put it. But I will say I would look forward to a newer design and I think it would be nice to see a new design come very soon. You know, you're four models in, so now you get to the fifth one, maybe that'd be the redesign. But on top of this design change and also aspect ratio and the minimal crease, we now also have an storage upgrade. According to Phone Arena, it now says that the Z Fold 4 will be released in a 512 gigabyte and one terabyte storage configuration. This is actually not a bad idea because a lot of people have been saying for a while that the Fold series don't really make up a lot of sales. However, we do see there is a need and want for a niche market, but people are willing to pay the premium. In this case, it does go on and say that this doesn't seem to be a one terabyte limited version. This will be available to everyone. This one terabyte doesn't have to be bundled with 5G or nothing. So you can get 512 and one terabyte either by choosing an upgrade. That's a very good thing as you're no longer restricted or needed to be included in some kind of cellular upgrade. Now I know all about 5G, I know all about that. Thank you, Steam Mobile Tech. But all I've got to say on this is this. This phone is really starting to shape up into a powerhouse. Essentially, this is taking the Note series and turning it into a bigger thing. As we've seen, Samsung has pretty much phased the Note out and combined it with the Ultra, which is something they should have done sooner. But now they have this new device with the Flip and the Fold series that make up for that mid release and now that we're only a few months away it's going to build more and more so once again i will continue to update you guys i will continue to talk about it and lastly if you enjoy the content subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss when i upload now we got that out of the way let's talk about the second story Alrighty, the last story of the day is the iphone 14 pro max well 
Judging by the view count of my last episode, I can see that was a big mistake. So let's backtrack to the one phone that everybody is excited for, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Now, according to several reports, it seems that yes, these new phones will be getting new cameras, new facial redesign with that whole pill eye shape. We're gonna call this the eye shape design. You know what, it's, it's better than calling it a hole punch and pill shape, let's call it the eye design. But anyway, moving on past that, a lot of people have been asking, what about the regular and the new Max phone? Well, according to this report, it does show that all phones will be getting an upgrade, not just in camera technology, but also in battery, except for the Pro Max. Let me explain. According to the username called Shrimp Apple Pro, Shrimp, Shrimp, Shrimp Apple Pro? What kind of name is that? Who calls themselves Shrimp Apple Pro? What are you trying to symbolize, shrimp? What, that you have a shrimp? Anyway, moving past that, according to this user, he claims that yes, there will be a new size of battery configuration that will be not only for the new regular models, but for the Pro model as well. According to the post, it says here that the regular 14 will have 3,279 milliamp hours, whereas the 14 Pro will have 3,200 in comparison to its last year model. The 14 Max, which is the biggest one, is scheduled to have a 4,325 milliamp hour. However, the 14 Pro Max is now slated to have a slightly smaller battery, not exactly smaller as you're thinking. It will still be 4,300 milliamps, but instead of it 4,352 like this model, it will go down to 4,323. Now, I'm not exactly sure why Apple would opt to do this. I know a lot of people are saying because of the new camera, it does add a lot of weight. It could be, I don't know, I really don't know. But according to a lot of reports, it seems that the 13 Pro and Pro Max battery lives have been excellent and the 13 series batteries have been great. So it's good to see that Apple is upgrading that on top of the camera technology. And it's a really good thing to see because a lot of people have been under the assumption that the regular models really won't get any of the good stuff like the Pro and Pro Max. Well, it seems that this year, Apple wants to kind of change that because even though the Pro and Pro Max will be getting their own specific set of cameras, at least the regular phones will be getting a bigger battery and also slightly better cameras as well. Not on par with the Pro, but definitely above the average use. So that's everything you need to know about the 14 series. And if you consider this a downgrade for the Pro Max, maybe? And that's it for today's episode of Technoid. Now guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps circulate my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a good day, and peace.